come to White Hart Lane looking for their first away win of the season. For Spurs, a win today would equal their best ever start to the Premiership. And they have a 100% record here at White Hart Lane. A Borough win would mean their most successful start since 1995 when we finished 12. So we're underway then at White Hart Lane. It's Borough TV Extra, the Borough match. It's Tottenham Hotspur against Middlesbrough. Ferdinand. It's over on the far hand touchline now with Everson. Still with Everson. Good ball from him over to Robbie Keane and again Southgate it was with the interception. Gareth Southgate just showing the Borough fans what they've missed with him being injured. Now it's Boxic who holds it up well. And Gunjevic came in ahead of Joseph Job. And maybe now a chance for Jamie Redknapp and Disappointing shot that wasn't it? He should have had a shot there, Mike, shouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I think he aimed for the corner flag. <laughs> he played for touch, I think, yeah. Yeah, well, one of Jamie Redknapp's best shots there, but... Uh, Here we just see it again, Trevor. He seemed to be sizing up well for one, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, he, Jamie does like it on his right foot, I think. You know, any, if he'd have had a bit of a left foot on him, he could have took it onto his left side and hit with his left foot a lot more, a lot cleaner, I would have thought. Now it's with Thatcher. Thatcher tries to deliver the ball, it's over the head and in the end it was Ferdinand with a, just a, a little glancing header really and just a, a warning sign for Boris defence they're not going to have it all their own way. No, I mean he's, Ferdinand's always going to cause problems. Not a bad ball in from Thatcher, he's got a lot of pace in it and it's one of them where you just get your nut on it and it flies into the top corner. He's always going to cause problems Ferdinand. There's Ferdinand well known in the North East from his 68 games at Newcastle when he scored 41 goals, that's not a bad return is it? A bit like mine, I think, Mike, that was, wasn't it? Similar. <laughs> Stockdale it is that takes it to Joseph Job. It's good play by Robbie Stockdale. And now Gareth Southgate in possession. Southgate in turn found Jonathan Greening. Greening just held his man off very well there. It's a very different Jonathan Greening we've been watching this season. So much more impressive than, for the most part, we saw John O playing last year, of course, by his own admission. And that was a good move there from Joseph Job, who went past Redknapp, and Job shoots! Casey Keller forced to make a smart save there, but it was when he beat Jamie Redknapp, really, that started that move. Yeah, it's a great turn, turn away from Redknapp brilliantly. Tottenham backing off, backing off, backing off. It's a great strike and a superb save by Keller. That's why Joseph Job is in the side, of course. It was the way he went past Jamie Redknapp, a highly experienced professional. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think the legs are there as much as they used to be, Jamie. Jeremy will be that takes it. Southgate there, he yoked forward amongst others. Stockdale, the only man really back, and even he's in the Tottenham half. Jeremy delivers it near post this time, and Boxic it was, and it came through a group of players, and Casey Keller pounced on it. Even that, even that ball, it wasn't the best. That was a good, bad one, if you like. Here you he get to see it. Caused problems. I think it was deflected off Doherty in the end. Yeah, safe for Keller, really. Musto and in's gone, of course. George Boatin, one of the replacements. Macaroni oh. with a header, and it's still with Macaroni! And the ball is in the back of the net, and Borough ahead, and to be honest, it's the goal that we deserved. Definitely, definitely. It's a long time coming, but as I say, defensively, it was a bit of a scramble again. I think we could have napped that one. Um, there we go. It's a great ball in from Greening, actually. I thought he's had a very good game. Knocked into the far post. I thought Macaroni, to be fair, should have scored on the first attempt. But, um, you know, when you're a striker, you need that little bit of luck. It's fell to him three yards out, and I could have even stuck that one in, Mike. I think I might have had a chance. <laughs> Maybe now a chance for Tottenham to get back into this game. This is Robbie Stockdale. Good ball inside for Jeremy. Jeremy was looking up, and ball nearly deflected through maybe for Alan Boxic and Boxic it was against Gary Doherty and it's still with Alan Boxic and Massimo Macaroni and maybe Joseph Job on the header Tottenham defence here are so poor Mike I mean Doherty there just did not have a clue what was around him don't know what he was doing and struggling with this sort of three man forward line that Borough yeah. employing at the moment there's a good ball in by Boxic actually just blind whipped it into the box and there's a good header and of course played for England in a non-competitive match as a younger man and now a full Scottish international. Meanwhile though, Jeremy, Jeremy with maybe a macaroni now and it's a fine save in the end, the feet of Casey Keller blocked that one. Maybe another opportunity with Joseph Job and Job just trying to thread his shot through. 
poor defending again by Tottenham. Thatcher again, I think it was. Gives the ball away. Macaroni perhaps should have scored there, to be fair. Should have been Macaroni. Good save second. by Keller. Maybe now an opportunity for Robbie Keane. Keane to run at the red shirts and space in front of him. No real support. Now Sheringham has joined the attack. Sheringham in turn finds Simon Davis. Davis against Kedru. Chips it to the back post. It was Everson across the face of the goal. And no one was in the middle. Maybe now a chance for Borough to counter attack with Massimo Macaroni. Boxic is forward. He has support from Joseph Job as well. It's still Macaroni. Oh. Jeremy in loads of space. It's Jeremy now, maybe with a chance to shoot at Keller, and it's in the back of the net. And Tottenham from going so close at one end sees Jeremy score his first goal for the Borough. And at this stage of the match, 10 minutes gone in the second half. That's disastrous for Tottenham. Fantastic for Borough. It's unbelievable the room he had. We'll see it in a minute. I just can't believe he hasn't been tracked. There you see the run. He's made his run from midfield, but obviously he's, he's, uh, he hasn't been tracked by anyone. And if I was Glenn Otto, I wouldn't, wouldn't be very happy at all. But he's thoroughly deserved, Mike. I mean, you know, obviously Tottenham have just had the chance up the other end and it could have been one all now, but, uh, you know, if you ask me, 2 0 at the moment is a fair result. Slight deflection off Casey Keller, but he couldn't keep it out. And Tottenham are two up. Jeremy hasn't scored in the borough in the Premiership yet, but he's opened his account today. Maybe Macaroni now. Goalkeeper spills it. Boxic on the end of it away eventually by Ben Thatcher. There we go. Good turn. Loads of power there. I think turning him up to give you a bit of confidence. He's had a go himself. Like I said in the first half, I feel there's times you should do that maybe more often. Header on again. Kedru now will try and clear it with Boateng to Macaroni and Macaroni plays the ball through flag and stay down with Joseph Job it's Job against Keller and it's three great finish Tottenham Hotspur from having hit the post Borough have gone straight back up the other end and they've scored again delight for Joseph Job it's his second goal this season and here we just see it again. Great ball by Macaroni there. Job keeps his head, just picks his spot. It's a great finish, to be fair to him. 3 uh, 0 up. There's no reason why Mac uh, Borough can't come on and get another cup, I don't think, anyway. It's looking this afternoon as though those two records could both be ended. Another ball forward, maybe another chance now for Jeremy. He took it down well. Uh, ben Thatcher it was coming across, and I think Jeremy was thinking maybe that could have been number four. I just can't believe the run they're getting at the back. Look at that, I mean, it's just uh, incredible, isn't it? I mean, he's got a yard, okay, he's, he's made it up there, but he shouldn't have it in the first place. Going to be a corner kick to Borough. Jeremy, I think, will take it. So, watching today's performance, so, how they're there, I do not know. But obviously, you know, get to credit the Tottenham, that you know, they've had like 10 injuries, you know, and it's, um, you know, taking 10, 10 of your best players out of your squad, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. Boateng now away from his man, Boateng cuts the ball across, Greening hit it first time. I thought for a moment it might have been number four from Jonathan Greening. Yeah, Boateng's so, been magnificent this afternoon. As has Greening, I think he deserved yeah, the goal pass. Yeah, maybe, but as I say, Boateng, as I say, he's broke things up and he's brilliant tackles, he should, have, should never win. And he's still, I mean, it's, uh, you know, you're freeing him up and he's still breaking his neck to get into the uh, Tottenham box. Borough, they have tended to go up the other end and scored every time yeah. Tottenham have gone close. We, we can expect one that wrap back two minutes' time, I should think. This is Boxic, he just holds play up, looks for job. Boxic continued his run, maybe now with Jonathan Green. There we go. Boxic! Oh. oh, and it's just gone wide of the post. And, well, I thought I'd been Mystic <laughs> Michael for yeah. a moment there. <laughs> you do the lottery tonight. I'll give you my six numbers here, we just see it again. Yeah, Jonathan Green did well. Four. Yeah, it's a good effort, actually. Good Just effort. Kodro did phone. well, yeah, I mean, the keeper did well, actually. This is Joseph Job. It's still with Joseph Job. He goes down, and that's going to be a free kick against Dean Richards. Joseph Job, you feel if he'd got past him, he was through, and that could have been four. Desperation, mate, wasn't it, really? Have you been impressed with Joseph Job this afternoon? I've been scored a goal. To be fair, Mike, I've been impressed with all the, all the Borough team. The whole team have been excellent. They've worked hard for one another, been very confident and thoroughly deserved their 3-0 uh, win. 
Just two well, minutes. It might be four nil now. Two minutes to be added on at the end of this half. Borough have three goal advantage away at White Hart Lane. We saw Ked Roo score from a free kick last week. And we also heard Jeremy on talking about striking them as well. Jeremy takes it, it comes off the upright. Oh, and Joseph Job just put it behind in the end. Great strike. I think that was a save by Keller, actually, was it? We saw, as we said, Ked Roo score one, and Jeremy was saying he still wants to take some as well on Borough oh, TV that, this week. Superb save by Keller. Players forward, over the head <coughs> of everyone, really. That about sums the afternoon up, doesn't it? And as the final whistle goes, it's been a fantastic performance from 11 men in red borough shirts, Trevor Putney. Yes, as I said before, Mike, well, I mean, I've been very, very impressed this afternoon from the goalkeeper up to the strike to the sub that come on, really. I mean, excellent. It was goals by Massimo Macaroni, Jeremy and Joseph Job that were the difference between the two sides. A wonderful afternoon at White Hart Lane. Final score, Tottenham Hotspur nil, Middlesbrough three.